Hello everyone, this is the Mini Cooper E with the 36.6 kilowatt hour battery and we're doing a range test with 110 kilometers now because I think 130 is a bit too fast for this car. You don't get far, small battery and it also doesn't charge amazing. Peak is 75 kilowatt. I'm doing a charging test right now. I'm going to analyze the charging curve. Um, it said to 80% uh, around 40 minutes at uh, 34 minutes at 20 percent so it will still take a bit the car has a heat pump has winter tires on 17 inch 195s um, i'm charging to 80 percent and then we're going to go to gps speed 110. i'm excited to see if this is further than 130 of course it's further but how much it's always interesting I'm driving again and now I'm driving 112 on the speedometer which is 110 GPS speed. I charge to 80% like I said, reset my trip, my climate is in 21 degrees, auto, low airflow, I'm in green mode so heat is reduced and now we have done our uphill 9 kilometers almost exactly and now it's downhill. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so bumpy when it's a horrible road like now. Well, horrible, not a great highway. And then you notice how it's jumping around. Oh my god. Uh, you have to really like it. And if you drive alone, it's okay. But when you have people in there, it's like you're a bit... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and we'll see how far I get. I think usually it's the same. I drive the same distance as with the 130 test. Just with the 130 I charge to 100% and then with the 110 only to 80% but I did the 130 only with 94 because the charging power was so low then at 92% only 7 kilowatt. I know it's not representative at all, but after the first 10% used of the battery, I drove 14 and a half kilometers. That would mean 145 kilometers of full range, but the first nine were uphill and my consumption is going down, which is great. So it's gonna be a bit more, but I thought let's have a little in-between result here. I used 25% of my battery, here's my average consumption, I drove 48.5 kilometers, full range would then be 194 kilometers. At this time, with the 130 test, I had 172, so there's not a lot of difference. 20 kilometers, hmm, we'll see, it's 5 degrees now out, my heat is only at 21, I'm warm enough. It's nice and sunny, consumption looks good, 17.2 is amazing. I turned around, uh, used 38, 37% so far, so I need 37 to go back, so whoo, <laughs> could be again four or five percent that I arrive with. Navigation thinks I'm driving 130, that's why it thinks I will arrive with zero percent. And it says that out of the six chargers, three are not working. So, I didn't know that. We'll see. How is the Mini Cooper at 110? 
the loudness is not a lot of difference, I have to say, from 130 to 110. Maybe a bit, but not a lot. Still bumpy. Oh my God, uh, that has no difference with the speed. Um, and this is a, a good highway, a really good highway. But if it's just a tiny bit and you're jumping and jumping, and again, I don't have, have anything to say about the cruise control to, since it just keeps the speed. There is no adaptive cruise control. There is, you can have it for this car, but this car doesn't have it and it doesn't have steering assist. So I'm driving like this. We'll see how I will arrive. I'm at 40% and have 63 kilometers 66 to go I have 63 kilometers of range oops <laughs> we'll see yeah at 60 kilometers of range i got a range warning at 40 percent 40 kilometers range you get another warning and then before at 10 percent or less i can't remember uh, uh, when i had 10 or 15 kilometers of range i got the turtle mode I used 50% of the battery, drove 94 kilometers, full range is then 188 kilometers. Consumption still looks good, I like it, 17.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, that's wonderful. Um, yeah, I have a lot of people not driving, they're driving too slow and then they speed up the whole time like this guy, he just passed me. Then he drove slow and I was driving fast again. That's very bad for trying to drive a constant speed. And then if they just drive a tiny bit slower than you, then passing is a trouble and uh. But we're almost done, another 46 kilometers. I will, t now by the way, I have one kilometer more range than uh, what I have to go. Woohoo! <laughs> but I think it still thinks I'm arriving with 0% but now it's not red anymore so it's not under 0% hoo hoo If your company has electric cars as company cars, of course you want your employee to charge at home. It's cheaper for you and it's easier for the employee. Tronity has a software solution for you to know how much you have to pay your employee for charging at home. With the fleet manager you manage your employees and your cars. Tronity connects to the cars and knows exactly when the car is charging at home and how much. And then you get an easy monthly bill for your employee. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below. I arrived with 3% average consumption, my time and the kilometers Google Maps says 142 but this is not on 100 meters so this is pretty accurate. Let's calculate the range. When I plug in at the 3% I get 57 kilowatt but I also didn't preheat the battery. 60 kilowatt now. So when I calculate the range, I get to 184 kilometers of range at 110 at the end. So the last 30 kilometers, I slowed down to 110 and turned the heat down more and more. Uh, the last 10 kilometers, even to 19 degrees and the airflow and everything. And I arrive, the, the, the navigation said I will arrive with 2%. Uh, it was, first was zero, then it was red, 1% again zero and then red, and then it went to 2%. The downhill here, the nine kilometers just always help, amazing. Uh, because when the downhill started, I was at 5%. So I only used 2% for the 10 kilometers downhill, which is okay. But this is what you get out of this tiny little battery. <laughs> it's so dirty. Poor car. If you want to compare range results, uh, there's a link for, to a Google spreadsheet in the description. There I have all my range tests and all of my long distance trip tests. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BattyLife1. And if you want to support the channel, you can do that here on YouTube via channel membership, where you get early access to videos and early info if something is happening, if I'm invited or if I know any news that I can share. M members always get it first. And if you want to know what's happening, 
happening behind the scenes. I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery where I do vlogging around the tests and also again if something is happening not just test test tests and also what's happening overall. Um, yeah but that's it for me thank you very much for watching have a great day and take care bye